Ladies and gentlemen, I playtested both Restoration Druid Heroes packs in the War Within beta and I must say both of them feel pretty damn nice, although they're completely different from each other. Which one is better and which one you should pick? Coming up in this video. We need to start by mentioning that the Druid gets some major changes in its gameplay in the War Within just by the changes made in the class and in the spec trees both. For example, Adaptive Swarm is gone, Moonkin Form is gone, completely. Flourish now shares a node with Photosynthesis and there are some new talents as well. For example, you get Fluid Form which automatically shifts you into a Cat Form every time you cast Shred or Rake, which I must say feels pretty damn nice. Even more so, Shapeshifting now grants you Heart of the Wild for 10 seconds every 1 minute. And then all the damage that you do during Heart of the Wild is actually converted to healing through Dream of Scenarius talent. So even without hero talents all of this feels pretty great and it's going to substantially change the way you use your spec, while at the same time those new talents actually connect with the hero talents in a very nice way, so let's look into that next. If you play a restoration druid and you like going into cat form, doing some damage, leaving bleeds on your targets, then wild stalker druid is gonna be your thing. Your main talent is called Thriving Growth, every time you use Rip or Rake there is a chance that you put an extra bleed on your target and at the same time Wild Growth, Regrowth and Efflorescence have a chance to put an extra hot on your target. And honestly that's pretty much it for Wild Stalker Restoration Druid. Of course there's a bunch of other talents, for example some of them increase the Rip and the Ferocious by damage or the damage of the Moon and the Sunfire. Once those extra bleeds or halts on your targets expire, they basically burst for extra damage or extra healing around them and you get flat increase to both your damage and healing in general and on targets that already have those extra halts or bleeds on them. You can see the capstone talent on the bottom right over there. Now all of this might sound a little bit boring to you, but you are actually a cat form weaving druid on steroids. You're doing more damage and more healing in general, you get the extra bleeds and halts that contribute to a very good amount in damage meters at the end of the run and when you combine this with everything that we said so far, fluid form that lets you go to cat form automatically and then healing while you have heart of the wild active by just doing damage, this kinda makes the spec feel a little bit overpowered. Not to mention that the free heart of the wild that you get every one minute actually overlaps with Convoke of the Spirits. Yes, this is still going to feel bad if you're playing in a pug and they're so bad that you have no time to go into a cat form and you just have to spam heals to them hoping they're gonna survive, that's not gonna change. But once you have a semi-decent group, this hero talent spec feels amazing. So in short, if you're a restoration druid who enjoys cat weaving, you're gonna have pretty nice time in War Within. Restoration Druid Keeper of the Groove though is a completely different animal. Every time you summon your Groove Guardians they buff your next targeted heal to spawn some Dream Petals that do AoE healing around them. That's actually pretty cool because you have full control of when and how this is going to happen but that of course is not all. Some of the talents further increase the overall healing that your Groove Guardians do and they also apply a minor scenario ward on your targets that does extra healing once they take damage. The Capstone talent is a little bit boring but you get extra healing based on the amount of Groove Guardians that you have summoned at any point. And the most natural question at this point is what about damage since the other hero talent spec actually had a lot to do with damage. Oh, don't worry, I got you. But this is probably not what you would expect. Keeper of the Groove actually wants to keep you in caster form by increasing the damage of your Rat and Starfire and there's another talent that buffs them and makes them instacast if you keep spamming regrowths or if you keep spamming star surges you get an instacast regrowth. And there's yet another twist, your Groove Guardians are now gonna be casting Moonfire. So boom, guess which spell is going to be on the top of your damage meters at the end of the run. Now 
All of this actually feels pretty nice to play with, you're basically staying in caster form, you're casting your heals, you're casting your damaging spells, some of them get buffed and they're insta-cast, and supposedly that's a very different playstyle than the cat weaving which comes with the wild stalker hero that aren't built. However, my main concern here is that the damage from the rake is actually so valuable and so high that even if you're playing this build, you're still probably going to go into cat form and put some bleeds on targets, which is going to maximize your DPS. That is probably going to go against the main idea of this hero talent spec, which supposedly is only going to keep you in caster form and you're not going to have to go to cat weave and do some damage there. And only tuning will tell, but I'm afraid that this is going to make this spec very complicated because on top of everything else, you have to still go into cat form and put some bleeds. Regardless, I enjoy playing this a lot in M+, and I hope that they manage to make it so you can stay in cast form all the time, you never have to worry about cat form. And I think it's worth mentioning, this is gonna be the spec that you wanna be playing in bugs, as it's much better with dealing with unpredictable damage. So, as promised, let's compare the two now, and I think we're gonna see the trend that we saw with the other hero talent specs. As the gameplay of both feels pretty nice, but it kinda seems it's designated to be played in a certain environment. Wildstalker is definitely going to do amazing in M+, with all the additional healing and damage that you can do while staying in cat form. Especially considering the new addition that Blizzard added, the ability to be able to heal through dealing damage while being shapeshifted. That simply screams Mythic Plus to me, and yes, it depends on scaling, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the dominant specs next season in that environment. When it comes to raiding though, I'm not so sure. Let's face it, you won't be spending your time in cat form in the raid, you'll be casting so you'll be losing a lot of value from all the talents that buff your cat form damage and healing, and it's very doubtful that the extra hots that you're getting are gonna be enough to compensate for that. However, this is probably where Keeper of the Groove is going to shine. You're supposedly full time caster form in that spec, your trends are overpowered, they're also buffing your other healing spells so you should be able to produce some very significant numbers in that environment. I personally think, and I should say, I personally hope that Keeper of the Groove is going to be viable spec in Mythic Plus as well, as the playstyle is actually quite nice and quite different. There are two main concerns here, first, is it gonna be overshadowed by Wildstalker in M+, cause it definitely seems it's going to be. And second, can they make the tuning so you don't have to go into cat form to do extra bleed damage? This is definitely going to make the spec way over complicated. At the end of the day though, both of them feel pretty damn nice and I had a lot of fun playing them on the beta, so I'm looking forward to see how this is going to shape out in the first season of The War Within. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the rest of the videos covering the other healer hero talent specs, I'll see you there. Now get out of here.